Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man. And tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You can join the Patreon squad. By doing so, you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore content that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. Douglas Chambers, who was killed by PMP criminal organization members and it, it came from the top and to date the person, our person who have given, given that order has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. Yes, you know, today um, we ventured on a, a road where here's a woman married in the shower posse. So you're going to listen to a woman who was married and involved with men of the Jamaican shower posse gang in America. And she's going to tell you about murders and drug dealing. She's going to tell you that she has never been involved in any drug dealing. Both of her husbands are dead. She has never dated any decent men in her life. From a tender age in Tivoli Gardens, she started a relationship with a bad man known as Jonah Screw. Yeah, Jonah Screw was a bad man and was killed by Bulby from Rima. Now to see Bulby who end up um, in Waterhouse and he was killed in Fort Clarence St. Catherine by men affiliated with Waldy from Cockburn Penkinson 11. So you're going to hear all of that. So you know at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we address critical social issues and promote positive, ch positive change in Jamaica. You know, we, top, we tackle complex topics head on and strive to make a difference in our community, which is your community. Educational channels like ours are crucial in raising awareness, advocating for change and fostering dialogue about pressing issues such as crime, legislation and societal challenges. By providing accurate information and unfiltered perspectives, we are empowering viewers to think critically and engage in meaningful discussion about how to address these issues effectively. Unfortunately, some may have tried to label us and the channel based, you know, based on what they think is our political affiliations or biases. 
But staying true to our mission of truth telling and fearlessness is vital. And that is what we are all about. So we don't care about the noise makers. The same to bar and make the most noise. So, you know, we keep amplifying influential voices, shedding light on critical issues and advocating for positive change. Our efforts have the potential to make a real impact on the Jamaican landscape and contribute to a safer, more prosperous future for all. Yes. So being enlightened to Mutti Perkins is indeed a high honor and a testament to, impact, to the impactful work our channel is doing. Mutti Perkins, known for his fearless intelligence and incisive journalism, was a trailblazer in shedding light on important issues facing Jamaica. To be recognized as carrying on his legacy by providing, providing valuable insights and unflinching honesty speak volumes about the significance of our contributions to the online community. Receiving recognition from our peers and viewers underscore the positive impact our channel is having and the importance of your, our efforts in addressing the critical issues in Jamaica. We will continue to keep up the excellent work, inspire others to aspire them to be the best of themselves and make a meaningful difference in your community and beyond, which is our community. It's us. It's not m me. It's a we. It's us. All of us. So Mutti Perkins was a highly respected journalist known for his courage, listening to you know, courage, that means him fearless, integrity, tell you the truth, he was afraid, and him show empathy and sympathy to others, and dedication to uncovering the truth. His work in Jamaican media left a lasting impact on the country as he fearlessly tackled important social and political issues without compromise. So you know, Mutti Perkins could not be bought. Yes, could not be bought. You understand? And he told the people the truth and was not afraid to call a spade a spade. Also, he was not incognito. Being compared to Mutti Perkins is a significant honor as it recognized our channel's bravery and commitment to truth telling and his legacy which inspires journalists and advocates for justice in Jamaica and beyond. We have faced some intense smear campaigns, criticism and opposition. Still, it's clear that we are committed to staying true to our mission and not letting negativity lead us like the Gaza nation. Our loyal viewers know that we are not confined to the PMP cr criminal organization as they love entertainment. It's essential to recognize that not everyone will understand or appreciate our work, especially when it challenges entrenched beliefs or threatened status quo. Or threaten the status quo, especially those who in a mindset of someone who is in a cult. They don't appreciate independent information and anything that challenges what they believe they get angry miserable and cross so by maintaining our integrity and speaking truth to power we are making a difference and contributing to positive change in our community we will remember to focus on the support and encouragement we receive from those who value our efforts rather than allowing the negativity of detractors to overshadow our accomplishments. We will keep pushing forward with courage, commitment and determination and know that our work is making an impact. Even if it's only sometimes acknowledged by everyone, our dedication to truth and justice is and will ultimately prevail over the noise of the crit noise of criticism so you know this woman's story is complex and filled with hardship 
So here's what you can expect. Growing up in, in Tivoli Gardens, a tough Kingston neighborhood known for gang violence like to shape her life significantly. Marrying and being involved with men in the shower posse a notorious Jamaican drug gang in America indicate a life surrounded by crime and danger. So when people feel like they're involved in a crime like that, it's a something for you know celebrate, revere and you know you put them on a pedestal. When you're involved in a crime your life is always in danger. Remember, say, for watch out for police rivals, and not only rivals, but robbers too, you understand? So, I don't know how people do it. I just, you know, it's the same thing I just say. I don't know how to, you know, to um, indulge in, you know, that um, kind of criminality. I don't know how, to, how people do it. So that's why, you know, we stay far from certain kind of people, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, we rather to stay by ourselves than to be, you know, a crowded Peer people who are very dishonest, you know, they, lie. they are liars. So it is possible she was not involved in drug dealing. But being married to men in the shower posse would mean proximity to the operation. So, you know, you understand. Although, you know, she, uh, you, you, you're going to hear from her in which she, you know, she said vehemently, vehemently that she has never indulged her in the operation. So, you know, that's for you. You watch, you listen, you decide. So, it's also common for people involved in such circle to shield themselves from blame, guilt, and culpability. God, that's how it is, you know. You, know um, she know. you cannot expect her to lie on herself. And as we know, we're not going to condemn, condemn her because you have to understand you know, the most important thing in life. We believe in a redemption. People can't change. Yeah, you have some people who have been through some things in life. And you know, the most important thing when they are being honest about themselves and speak about them past. There's no perfect human being. The only perfect human being ever come on this earth. And most of us is just belief. We believe what was told to us is Jesus Christ. And whether or not you want to believe that Jesus Christ exists or not, you know that it has to be a greater being that created us human beings. Because nothing or nothing, you cannot get something from that, from nothing. It has to be from something for you to get something. You understand? So we did not just, as we, um, these so-called scientists are trying to tell us about million year, millions and millions of years ago. It's all of that. Is a speculation because none of them don't have the facts. You understand? So we we'll continue, you know, moving on. So, you know, she losing to two husbands suggests a tragic cycle in her life. The details she provides about gang rival gang rivalries risk and killings paints a picture of brut of a brutal world she has been entangling. So yearning for a different life. Her statement about never dating decent men might hint at a desire for a more stable and peaceful life. So you know that she's an elderly woman now. You know, you understand so. So here's how you, our loyal viewers and subscribers and Patreon members can approach this conversation. We know that, you know, our audience it's not like the Gaza nation. I you know the Gaza 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 the Gaza nation spread out. You know, so the mind is just wired one way. Anything anything that, that they you know say so straight at that. So you know that you know we just want you to use empathy and non judgment. Listen actively without judgment. Her story is filled with pain and trauma. Open ending questions. You know, so as we encourage her to elaborate on her experience, sis, you know, ask oh why and you know questions to understand her perspective. Focus on emotions, validate her feelings of loss, fear and anger. Breaking the silence. If she desires a different life, explore options or support and resources to help her move forward. So, you know, just by, you know, in your comments below, you know, share how you feel about her and what you understand. 
just words of encouragement. I would just ex, you know expect um, all of you guys to to share your perspective. So be mindful of sensitive nature of our story. Gang, gang violence can have a far-reaching consequences. So, you know, she reveals some very damning information. I tell her that this woman has lived a dangerous and challenging life. So our role at the Jamaica Young Police Channel is to listen with an open mind and offer support if she's receptive. So you know that, um, you know, we are describing a complex and intense situation and it must not have been easy to navigate through those relationships and experience. As this woman is willing to share her story with us, it suggests that she trusts us and see value in opening up about her past. Yes, and you know, she don't want her vice mass, you know, and a vice moderator because we remind her show a passy. Just even mention say she was a part of show a show a passy, you know, say that as somebody whose life is in danger. And you you're gonna hear her, she tell you how much money it's them put on her and but she's not afraid anymore. She attacked. So, you know, it's important, you know, that, you know, we approach her narrative with empathy and understanding. Recognizing the challenges she may have faced and the impact these experiences have on her life. So please, just listen to her story without judgment. You can give her safe space to express herself and perhaps even gain insight or closure. So we're gonna bring her back after this, you know, this video. So it's heartbreaking to hear about the challenging this woman is, you know, has faced and still facing, especially with the hit on her life and her child and her child awaiting sentence for a serious crime in New York. Yeah, you know, so when her, you're gonna hear when her son convicted for murder and awaiting for sentence in New York. As she said, she have never dated a man, a decent man, a pure bad man she did, um, she did and two are uh, married, two of them dead. So understandably, she would want to change her lifestyle given the danger and stress she's experienced since. So changing one's lifestyle can be difficult, especially when deeply entrenched in a particular environment or culture. It often requires support from loved ones access to resources such as counseling or job training program and strong personal commitment to positive changes. So you know that we encourage her to seek support, you know, from local community. Some things we know you know with you know certain information we don't we don't allow we're not gonna allow the audience to hear, you understand? And we just offer our, our guidance to her, you understand? and try to help her in the right direction. It's essential for her to prioritize her safety and take the, any necessary precaution to protect herself and her family from harm. So I want you watch, you listen, and you decide. And I tell you politics, but if we could get more people like you... Well, most people, well, if you understand, most people are not like me, you know, they're not, they're, no, they're, oh not, they're, 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 they're on YouTube, but they're in, they're on YouTube for themselves, what's in it for me, they're not, they're not care about Jamaica, and you know? they must care about right. making money, mm -hmm. you understand, and people, the, to fix the problem, you know, the problem is not the little man who's firing the gun, you know? it has to do with the 63 people, them, you know, you understand, oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah, so that, that's what's, that's what's happening in, in Jamaica, oh yeah, Mm. It's like my cousin, I have a cousin called most of my relatives, like my father, my mother's side of people. Mm -hmm. they, 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 you have to understand, say, uh, the people them in their community, them do it, you know, most of them can't sit past them nose, you know. And it's true because of them always, because we know that all the pain people are, does is give them money. Yeah, man. And they make them give work them and everything there. Yes, yeah, so it's, that's why them control the people because 
to me, I'm not going to say that the, the both political parties, they are false, but the PNP party... Yeah, man, the PNP are criminal organized. The worst. Yes, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. The PNP kill judge and them kill government official. The labor not do that. The labor, no. the labor, the labor, them kill police and soldier. <laughs> yeah, and you can't people. hardly get anything. You see, the, let me tell you something, because I grew up down there, and I even though I leave... I don't come from... No, Tivale. Oh, uh, no. Look okay. here. I, I say it and I say it already. I say it to people all the while. Hey, look here. What you see? What happened at Tivale? The Tivale mm -hmm. people were forced to do what they have to do to protect themselves because it's those people from my community in attack on it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's that's why pe that's why people from jungle are like me. Look, I'm speak the truth. Right. Tiva Tivale and Riba, Riba people when uh, we start the war, you know. A, a, a man from Jonestown start the war. The first man when him kill, first man when him kill was a youth named James. Until lie say, until lie say a river man, and a man a man a name yeah a man a name Tom who lives on Maya Street. That a name which for a bogle bogle barn you know, on Maya Street. Yeah. I tell you, yeah, you understand. And a man named Tom saying to the man them talk say, eh boy you know a river man. And a man, the man who see the man say no a lie you know tell all them thing there. Uh, you miss you and all of the, and start call him name. You understand? Spurline, George Pong, um, mm -hmm. M.E.M., General Stark, you all of them. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And, and when that time I was in the 70s, you know, that I, you understand? And when and the man them say, you better left because they will kill you. From that, the man left, nobody knows if he's alive or, or stick the Alice and a man named Tom. I a little yeah. youth and I remember them things. So that's why they don't mm -hmm. like me and them things. Because justice is my deal with them. I don't care what they are in the liberty of PMP. I see you as uh, my yeah. brother and my sister. And I see that. Yeah. You know, I, I, that's why I'm saying, like, if there would be other people like you, man, like. Well, that is true. Uh, true. It's true. Well, just so. Oof. Yeah, if you want, yeah, well, you know, and then. What is insulting now when people compare me with other people and them Like Sir P, you know, mm -hmm. Sir P, you know, him, you know, say, him compromising, because I'm a part of a PMP criminal organization. You, you'll never hear him criticize them because them try to buy me out and them thing there now. I say, no, I'm not for sale. And that's something yeah. you know, him in, in, a, in their pocket, you understand? Okay. Mm, so that's why, you, that, if you notice, you don't hear him even talk about in the local government election. Mm -hmm. yes. You know what? Support me, Gia Joke. You know, say from the start, follow you. I'm not listening to Sir P. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, I don't know what is going on with him or not because I don't listen to him anymore. <laughs> you know, because all I, it's just, come me have to catch up on your video then. Mm -hmm. So, I have not really no time to listen to Sir P. Because oh. me would have love for go Jamaica, you know. What? Me would have love because right now, me would have go Jamaica if the crime never uh, like, cause I'm tired of America now. Hey, I'm here it. almost 50 years. Hey, let me tell you, man. You see the Prime Minister, he must stay like Siago, man. Cause if he must see Siago, he must have better. Jesus yeah. of mercy, I me mean, to tell you. Look here, you see even GLP, them not like the GLP party, you know, cause them not give free money, you know? Hey, you know, uh, you know, so between me and uh, uh, me, I tell you, so I was talking to a man who lived in a Tivoli and them thing. Then. Mm -hmm. Cause, you know, you know, surprisingly, I had spoken to several. Because the thing with the people that matter, them, them say them can't believe. Say, boy, for somebody who born and grown in a PMP community like Jungle and Jonestown, them mm -hmm. can't believe. Say, oh, me speak truth to all them thing there, and, and yeah. you understand. Then now you hear the one in them, you hear some other blogger say, boy, I, I Tivoli my mother come from. Me not a family at Tivoli, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're telling them dangerous. But I say, when you speak the truth, you have to just expect yeah. attack from them. But Edward Siaga, I best, I, I tell you, I best man that ever, ever In come with. Yeah. Oh, yeah, some LK man. Siaga, Siaga love the people, them I love, they love the people, but they never love him because true, mm -hmm. you know, say, you know, say, you know, say, you know, say, you know, you know, you know, you know, one video I do with them police um, when they ride where they burn. You know, you know, when they go win the election, you see them police, them say, them start cuss, bad when they go on bad, say, oh, say, boy, everything for them don't mash up because this is a man and then all them things there. Yeah, that's so, what I said. The only thing, though, I, I, I end up, God forgive me, but I end up hating him. You hate Siaga for what? Why? Yeah, and the reason why is because I, f I feel like he used my mom, you know? Oh. My mother was, is like, is second. You yeah. could say that as a female. Mm. The, the way how she close to him, them say I'm a father. 
Oh, what, 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 what's, what's your mother's name? Blossom Masters. Oh, me hear the name. That. Oh, so, yeah, so, so, okay, so you're related <laughs> to Peter Masters. I, uh, the masters, yeah. Mm. And my 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 grandfather used to live on Cohen Cohen Park. I, I, his name was Granville Masters. He was a blue seam. Mm. Yeah, so why so why so why so eat, Ed, why eat, uh, Ed, Because when my mom passed away, mm. and I called him, he did not even come on the phone. You mm. know. Yeah, he did not even come on the phone. Him just tell the secretary. The secretary just told me that he couldn't make it. And the, on top of that, the Sunday when my mom was being laid to rest, Mr. Siago was at a football match, and they had to they had to hold me back, or maybe I would have died that Sunday. Because I was going to confront man, him. You understand? Well, I saw him like, a football man. The, because of his politics, mm. the politician not really love with nobody, you know, really, you know. Yes, it's all about power. their personal gain and power. Mm. You know what I mean? And to, 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 me see my mother, you know, when my mother leave West Kingston, you know, I kick them kick off our door. I can't tell you so much things to say. I, keep, uh, I kick uh, them kick off our door at Tivoli, you know. I so I say my mother in farm, you know, yeah. Oh, so she only did fall out before him before she died? No, she did turn Christian. Mm. So she never active anymore. So so only have to run from Tivoli and only have to move go? Uptown. Oh. Yeah, me leave we leave Tivoli from nineteen seventy four. Did that time I had my first child. My my daughter was three days old when they kick off our door. Mm. So yeah. I, so I don't kick off on the door? Say my mother in pharma. Because, and th that's why I tell you, say the man, me, me, how I end up feeling about the man, because my mother was, her father, the police. So, like, everybody have what them do. Mm -hmm. So she was the one, you know, when the man them go to jail, it was always for her cousin or her yeah, nephew. Yeah, yeah, let them come out. To make them come out. Yeah. So because no, my mother know she was like she did come like a police, you know. Mm. Because you see all of the dirty police them where you can't think of from Central to Denham Town yeah. of your friend them, and that is why me go tell you me just come to respect you because I don't like Jamaican police. Not I never have any respect for them. Reason be the no uh, their behavior and oh yeah, the 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 way them is man, them terrible. Mm. Them terrible. My mother used to have to when me visit and me daddy and them are come fake you know them always are big. And when them are come <laughs> my mother always are tell me say Joanna but I say nothing to them, you know. Yeah. No, but I said nothing to them, man, because me, me, me never like it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, it, it, oh God, I lost my train of thought. But it is it is a lot. Is it, it, it is a lot. When, when after I have baby, yeah, that's what I was telling you, I have baby. Mm. And there was Rima, there was a set of guys from Rima. Them tell them guys that my mother is uh, is in pharma and set them up to kick off the door so do we want it so them do want the man to kill your mother yeah come them come for kill her mm. so who are, who are who did came, came then mass up on the mother no 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 when 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 mass up when it happened mass up wasn't there them a big, them the big mess up for leave, you know. I beg him for leave cause him did want it. And I remember he said in the bar, cause my mother, if you can, if you you can research it, cause to me did me, me block my mind from a lot of things with them. But you can research it. My mother did have the bar down at Tivoli. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when they they they. Uh, Jeez, man. Remember I told you that one of my son is in prison? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and he's about to get sentenced and it's hurting because he got messed up mentally. Oh, you, 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 it, it has to do with so, don't, 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 by George, yeah? No, it, it, it happened in New York. Mm -hmm. It happened in New York. The guy must have come from um, somewhere in Harlem or something like that. 
you know, but now he's suffering because his mental state is bad because he's getting medication and stuff. And it's not a person that would want to take somebody's life. You know what I mean? So, so, so you have to kill the guy? Yeah. What, what, so why you kill the guy? I don't know. I never, I never had. So why you kill the guy? By me, yeah? I, yes, it was in a club, it, it, you know, but he wasn't in his right state of mind, you know? So when did that happen? I believe it was two years ago. And you mean not jail since then? Yeah. Uh, so the, the case finished? It's almost. He's going to court on on, on uh, May 1st. He's going to get sentenced on May 1st. Uh, because he has a team of people, you mm -hmm. know, and apparently they see through to what happened to him, you know? Mm -hmm. So apparently they're trying to help him, you know? I tell you, like it, it's it, it's it's sad, man. Cause I come from West Kingston, you know, but I never live that life, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I well, never well, lived well, that well, life. Uh, 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 let me let me see. Um, you 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 married to a ma you, at one time you were living in Georgia. Yes. Uh, all right, and you married to a man that was a drug dealer, right? Yes. What happened to him? He passed. Oh, uh, so what happened to all of the money that he had made? Lord, so you know all of that. I I wonder who gave you that story. Okay, when when I left him, mm -hmm. I took everything out the house and squander it. Mm. Oh, oh, you squander it. Squander it. Just start giving it away. Just start giving it away. Just start giving it to people, and then start going back and forth to Jamaica because I was under a lot of stress too. Mm -hmm. So just start going back and forth to Jamaica. I did what I could to just get rid of it, cause I know that's the only that is the only thing I could have done mm -hmm. to inflict some of the pain that he had inflicted. Um, that's something that I would want to talk to somebody about, but it's it's really sad. Like I got caught up where we come from, West Kingston, right? That's where we grew up. So all I knew was was gangsters, right? Mm -hmm. And that's all I I I had been with until I met him. Mm -hmm. After my first, so so, so who are who you were dating before? I dated. You ever hear of Junior Screw? Yes. All right. That that was first, my my first baby father. Yeah, and the, then, the man was bad man to man. Them kill him. He, yeah, then that may I tell you no, say mm -hmm. after he passed away. Who, I who, did, who, did, who kill him? Bulbai. Where Bulbai not kill him? Bulbai, not the me one. Me know, me know, me know, man. Me talk about Bulbai that don't don't have phone it here that time. Them thing there. Mm -hmm. So which part Bulbai they kill him? Charles Street? No, up um down a Manhattan. Oh, up on New York, them kill him. Yeah. Uh, which 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 ball by ball by from from Tivoli? Yeah, from Rima. Hmm. That's how like eighty him kill him. Yeah. So and them kill by ball by. No, man, ball by dead um few years ago in Jamaica. That's how the one and them kill. Ball by lived. That's how the one and them kill over Portmore. Huh? That's how the one that come from where the where the. Yeah, that's the one and them kill over Portmore. Yeah. In a. And he come from what? But I, so we he come from Rima and then he did, and then he, he end up at Waterhouse. Must be because I know about him from Rima. Oh, okay, and he did, and he did beat him. him when when his wife there used to beat her, beat her till she all get all crippled. Yeah. I don't even know she knew. Oh, that's I a, oh. she the, uh, she lived in Canada, I believe. Yes, they were they were living in Canada. Yeah. I don't remember what she knew about them thing there. You know. Yeah, man. So, but him, so, him, so, him did kill your father? Yeah. Mm. Well, but so, like, he must get, uh, must it PM did get, but the whole of them are the gun man, you know. Yeah, so, who pay, who pay, who pay ball by for kill, uh, for kill Junior Screw? I, be, I don't, I, you know, I don't remember. Mm. Oh, but, don't yeah, but remember. you and Junior Screw weren't together anymore, them thing. Then. Oh, yeah. You and we were together to, in the 80s? Yeah, we were together. I just had a young baby. Up in a, so you have a, you have a kid up here for him too? For Junior? Mm. Yeah. So you also from from, from my so, 
My first child for uh, I have for him were born in Jamaica. And the second one born up here? Yeah. The second and the, 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 the third and the fourth. Oh, so all I kids they have was junior school? No, I have eight children. Wow. Okay. And all of them are, all of them are pay bad money have kids, huh? No. Um, the the last set, the, 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 the one in question that we were talking about, mm -hmm. that's what I was going to tell you about him now, right? After Junior dead. All right, all right, look here, all right, all right. Tell me, tell me, tell me about your, your your life story with you and you know dating men who are bad men and everything. Old, 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 it never here now. Old, old started for you as a young girl, and what 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 attracted to gunmen? Um, what attracted me to gunmen is I believe at that time where I was living, mm. you know, I was sheltered. Because I'm an only child. I don't have siblings. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I was sheltered. Mm -hmm. I was <laughs> like not being able to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I believe I lost my virginity to peer pressure. Because I, my friend was always older than I am. Mm -hmm. And I remember vaguely you know we used to they used to tease me like you know everybody I get did that. I and get... i didn't yeah, they might, yeah and so but my mother my mother was a she was a terrorist you know and so she used to search me mm -hmm. so, <laughs> she yeah, said so I, yeah so i was afraid the first time me do anything me get pepper you know oh pepper. oh Inside pepper, it. when my mother burst pepper I in her hand, I, I put it there, I rub it on my vagina. Oh my God, that's yeah. that's a abuse, in a man. No, and, and you know I never look at it that way. Yes. After having children and see what it is, that's experience abuse, what it man. is to be a parent. Mm. Parent will do anything they so, can to save their children. Yeah, I, with me, I OD'd and it happened that it what it did, it affected my son. You know what, and I'm going to tell you because I have, I don't keep any skeletons in my closet. My son that is in prison, you know what happened? Mm -hmm. I'm a run from Junior and ended up with another one, another gunman, you know. A, jo a Jamaica? Up here. Which, which gunman that now? In the butter. That's a, uh, that's a butter from Sunlight, Sunlight, sun, sunlight Carla? Y yes. That's a Radigan brother? No, is that Sunlight? It, it come from, it come from somewhere up Ma Max Steel, Max Steel, and in black. In, them, no, them it's not Max Steel. It come from up in a, uh, it would have come up the sound, it would have up to Rima way, you know. Mm. But in my labor, I think I'm not paying people. Them kill, them kill him? Them kill him? No, he uh, made uh, Jamaica and get deported. Oh, okay. He was in the shower posse. Mm. Yeah, so anyway, I am a runner from Junior and end up uh, start a talk to him. So you didn't have four kids to Junior, you're a runner from Junior? No, wait, no, you're going to get it, no. Mm. Him get me have three children for Junior and one jacket. So, but, you, you, so, so, so you give him a jacket, you give Junior a jacket? Yeah. So you, you he, didn't know the jacket that I gave him more? Yeah, everybody knew about him, but he, he found out. He found out because my son, mm -hmm. my son have him name. Mm -hmm. Because that was the only thing he asked me. What happened, you know, me run, right? But me, them time, them never believe in our, in our, in our birth control, me not believe in our abortion. Yeah. Because me grew up like tomboy, like, you know, because me tell him he's our only child, so mm -hmm. me always have to protect me. Yeah. Anyway, me, me get pregnant. So when me get pregnant, no. That, that, that with the fourth child? No. Oh, okay. You talk with no, the first time. You talk the first in time. Me, I tell about, me, I tell about it. It come in between the four. Mm -hmm. That was my, that would be the third one for him. Mm -hmm. Third? 
don't believe it would be the third. Anyway, after me run, we know me get pregnant. After me get there. So after me get pregnant, no, Junior find me with a young belly, me I forgot back home. So, 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 so who did knock you up then? My next bad man? Butter. Oh, okay. And he come from... Yeah. Mm. yeah it, so, me, you know, me... It, it's been a no way for do it. So, the belly, the, the belly, I grow junior, I believe, a few months. So, we just go with it. But we are afraid. Me, I'm a friend. They're my friend. When we have the baby, no, the, 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 the baby look like him father. Called the father chubby and things. So, but my mother was a, it was a fat man. Mm. So, even if, if, if the junior said the baby favor my mother. Mm-hmm. Anyway, now, a jealous friend tell junior. So, I bought a picnic. Junior and tell junior and tell him, say, I bought a picnic. But he just said that, you know, it was his fault, you know. Mm. So the only thing he, he wanted me to, me to do was to change Jabal's surname because I knew it wasn't his child. So I gave Jabal my surname. So he said the only thing he's asking for me to do is to change Jabal's surname. So you, ch- you change him surname to yours? To his. To, to, to Junior's. Oh, so okay. So Junior, uh, he still he want, he, he want the jacket. Yeah, he wanted the child because mm. he accepted the child because, like, no, I'm the road, you know what I mean? I'm the uh, all over the place, and from them time, he does struggle, want to really get out of, you know, get out of that. But I think, but them time when me young and stop me love money. So, oh, all right, so oh, 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 you get full of Jamaica? Uh, no, I'm going to leave Jamaica when I'm 16, you know. Don't come to America? Mm-hmm. So, oh, you get, oh, oh, because of your connection with your mother and politics, so you get the visa? No. I, a friend of my mom mm-hmm. came and saw me, and she fell in love with me. Mm-hmm. She didn't have any children. So she wanted you? And she wanted me. So I, my mom got me a visa, and I came up. So wait, so, yeah. so what do you do with the child when you have? You bring the child with it, too? That time I only had one child. Yeah, that's why I asked if you did bring up that child with you. No, my mom, my mom raised that child. Okay, so where's that child now? She's up here now. Oh, okay. So she came later on. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So when you, so when you, when you, when you, so we were living now after you migrated from 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 Tivoli to America. I lived in Miami first. Where, where Miami? Uh, um, uh, mm, it was like 91st Street in Miami. Oh, that's only a 441. 441. I don't even remember. Okay. Remember that. Ah, no problem. Yeah. But what I want to tell you about mm. is my uh, my marriage. Look. Yeah. No, the reason, the reason why I'm asking that because I want to, in a, in a chrono, chronological order and everything. Mm-hmm. Like. So, yeah. you, so you were living in Miami and everything. I like. so, so make you get for, you know, freelance. So mm-hmm. you, you were living in Miami and you live with this, um, that I, the person who was your caretaker, your guardian. So you, yeah. you went to school in Miami too? No. So you did I, I, I didn't start doing anything with school until I came to New York. Uh, what you so what you just came to? Oh, so you have to where you do running from Miami? <laughs> they just say, well, them time Miami I did for all people, all the people. Oh, that was in our seventies. That the seventies. Mm-hmm. Late seventies and stuff. It was for all people. So. So you leave. And that, them time then, okay, me did me did <laughs> young and pretty and. You know, just have my own way, you know? Mm. So, okay, so... yeah. yeah. My mom support me financially wherever I go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right, so, so you move from... So, at what year do you move from Miami to New York? You know, I mean, I remember about the age part, though. All I mean, right. I remember right. about the age part, you know, but when me, me leave Miami, mm-hmm. I will come New York. I oh, me come to New York again. We come to New York again. Shit. All right, you know, my So, so when you, when you, so when you came to New York, who you who you were staying with? Uh, which which one of the boroughs do you know living in New York? When we come to New York, we live at Bronx. 
Okay. So 167, I started like down at 167 on Grant Avenue. Okay. So who you were Morris Avenue. I used to have like furnished rooms. My mom used to pay the rent. Mm. And me used to just have my friend and mom party and yeah. So oh you mean so okay, so oh Julia got back in your life now. Because him was my boyfriend from Jamaica. He come to America before me. Okay, so oh, so that's why when you reach Miami, you know, you just uh, you just took off and go with your junior there. Right. Oh, so you never spend the time with the people in Miami? Not really. Mm. I don't think. Okay, so you so you move up there now, and you and Junior live on, on in a sell drugs and all of them things. So he was a part of me. He was a part of the show. Sure but mm. me, and him, me and him never really live at first. You, you, you know? So you live the next woman? I have my place and him have his place. No. He used to, him was a real womanizer. Mm. You know? So he him, him used to just have him woman them. Yeah. So, but yeah. are you, so you never have no problem with that and him thing there? Um, me used to fight, you know? You fight the other woman them? Lord Jesus says me so me so beat everybody. Mm. Mm -hmm. Even the woman where I talk to you where I hear you pray so much, I I had so much respect for her and I lose it. Doctor Alfie, our sister, my my ex husband. Which which woman? Which woman that? Moi. Okay. What you are my mm. fighter? No, no man, me and her never fight, but mm. me and her was school until her sister to sleep with my husband. Who that? Which one are your husband? The one that passed away. Mm. Yeah. So you say you despise my, my? Yeah. Why? Because she knew all about it. and, and Wait, our, sis, our, our sister sleep with her husband up here? Yeah. Oh, come on, they're my pretty girl, you know. So, oh, so you pretty like my, them, or you pretty than them? Um, I don't know. They them say say I got my father, so I don't know. Okay, so okay, <laughs> so so pretty much you know, I, mean, I see him category. Or maybe you, I, you yeah, know. I don't. So have say, like so say that. I got your father. No, he's not. Yeah, and, so and, uh, uh, so your your mother your mother your mother white like Siaga? No, my mother one big black woman. So your father? She so your father? Big. Your father is a white man? No, one like a short black man. Then I must see how your father then for sure, man. No, he's not. No, he's not. Look, I, they, they, they used to say it so much, so my mom of a best friend, right? Mm. So she told me, she said, no, he's not. Be born 58. So, uh, because, so you, have, you have, you have, you have, you, so you have the ear them like my, them and all them thing there. Are you 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 um la, uh, in between you're, you're longer than yours. in between no I don't keep my hair stunted I don't have hair oh you cut you cut your hair like my yeah I'm a color me hair I used to color me hair a lot so mm. yeah uh, uh, but so, I don't have any f structure of a black woman's face I have deep set eyes long nose. So, so you look uh, oh, so you are see her, you are see her. So, no, so, I'm not, sir. I'm not, no, but if your father, if your father, if your father is a short man and him black, and your mother black, uh, it, it no, have to be see it, man, no, I see a direct, definitely jacket my father get in you know, about. Mm, but him just grab it and glad too. Yeah. I was like, oh, you're pretty too and them thing that you have long hair. And then and you see, you know, Jamaican still all them going over once you have a little light complexion. Yeah, man, them love you, man. That's mm -hmm. true, man. Cause we, but, uh, and, and you know, say the maroon cars that do. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. I'm I want to know. How you know about my husband and I, though? Mm, well, I just said... Someone man, okay. told you or you you know you knew him? Uh, no, I never knew him. Because you know what? He have a police friend, you know? What do you mean? He may have a good police friend, you know? And me and him used to talk good to him. I, mean, I don't even remember his name now, but it will come to me. Mm. And that man is a man where I don't have any respect for, you know? And when I, if I ever see him into him face again... You don't have respect for him? No, man. When you try to look here? No. Oh. I, them, 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 them choose money over morals yeah man that's a police there so some yeah, police there and thing, and yeah them choose money over morals you see this man mm -hmm. come on and talk to you about him you know yeah all right you see after junior dead no we, we, no, no, no look here we, 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 we're the too far and thing there so 
you want to talk about now. So when you live now in New York, where you say I want uh, down by half grand and them thing there. You know, the, uh, so you want Junior, what Junior was doing? You mean I sell drugs and them thing there? No, them never used to really sell drugs, you know, so what happened? All right, then. you see when we're there, Grant Avenue, because mm -hmm. when the time Vivian and Tony and they it's, it's, had... Who named Tony? Black Tony, Vivian, Vivian brother. Okay. What am I talking about? In dead? In dead too. Mm -hmm. Vivian and Tony, they them dead. Mm -hmm. And them, what them used to do, like, they, they, them used to have the strength so what they used to do is use the other youths for, for distribute. Job. So you have a you have a man named Freeman. You ever hear that name? Me hear the name. Mm. The shower pass it. Yeah. Freeman no, him used to him him did live a him a theme wife. Yeah. They carry me from Jamaica. Yeah. So he used to live in Miami, so he and the Cuba and them or whatever, so he get the, 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 the things that and then he yeah. come mm. and he give them to distribute and he not give them no money. Yeah. So it happened where Junior end up killing him. Junior killed Freeman? Freeman. So who did so you who, who tell him to do it? Um, what? Mass up, um, no, I don't know if anybody told them to do it. Mm. I believe them they, them they just get vexed because them not get nothing. Mm -hmm. And them go and them rob the house. Them did have an apartment to them used to sell, them, sell weed or whatever out there. And I'm them rob the house. And kill him. And no, them rob the house. So the rob where Junior, them rob the house. Now Freeman start talk all kind of things so and, say ma, and say more kill junior mm -hmm. so apparently them they are miami now and he must see in a club one night and i say we well, might go cut down car junior at all you know freeman was like a short man so him say more cut down junior to size when him see junior and all these things so apparently phone call and junior must go in at the club go kill him mm -hmm. murder. Mm. you know and it was so sad i tell you it, 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 that because it was the man was a free man was my mother good friend mm -hmm. and uh, so boy you, you, you want me to tell you something though yes man you know so me, ne, me, ne, me never mix up in a drug selling yeah even with my husband where me, me, me where me tell you we pass away yes I never have nothing because I remember one day when we when we come out because me not know enough. I mean, me I jump just to me off for reach the so you see. Yeah, no, you 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 reach so you reach you reach too when, far on it. Yeah, when him when I this man is a man where I believe I was changing my life, you know. Oh, that's the uh, uh, no. We, 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 we don't reach down to your husband. We are talking about Junior long and the shower pass here and them thing there. And you say him kill Freeman. Where Freeman come from? Tivoli too? No, where Freeman did come. Oh, no. Freeman come from out there. But I think Freeman, them, them come from on a Bond Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe his mom came from Bond Street or so, something. So they may still, they may link up with it. Uh, with them telling that it was in the shower pass here yet. Yeah, man. It was a show up as then. Okay. Yeah, because Freeman did a link with, with Vivian. Mm -hmm. So I want to clear the mess up. That's where the show up as it started. Cloudy wasn't here. In Jamaica. Yeah, Cloudy mm. wasn't here. Cloudy was on Cloudy never had a show up as it. Okay. The show up as it based in America. Mm. Oh, so, and it must have never come up here or anything there? No. Hmm. So what? Um, so no. so what? Um, when, when after um, Junior killed Freeman? So oh, you know, so Junior killed Freeman. People tell you. But the Miami when it happened, and 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 then he told me because my mom was there. So me fly from here for so go down and go look for my mother. Am I? Oh, so your mother did come up from Jamaica now. Yeah. Oh, because and as I said, as I said, oh, because you said earlier them when you did that, Tiffany, they made try them. Literally chasing out so I have a move. Yeah, but my mother never my mother never really migrated, you know. She always did a Jamaica. My mother says she never come to her in a second class citizen in anybody country. Yeah, so she traveled back and She was an entrepreneur, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So Juna so Juna Juna killed Freeman now and you come down to Miami and you find out say, him killed Freeman. 
Yeah. So all you did, so uh, that was the first man when killed her that you know of or, or no? Um, you know what? That's the only one I know of. I don't know of any so, others. Uh, uh, so all you, all you feel uh, as in, so you never did a uh, pregnant with the second child as yet. Oh, I feel. Mm, all you feel for no say yeah your man say you know. it was devastating it was devastating remember me tell you i'm a mother friend mm. a female wife the camera from jamaica yeah you know it was devastating mm. yeah so what you, so, so was, so you said to june about it i did what could i say you know and i i ended up running away again yeah I always run away Mm. Yeah, I always run away. So, you all, know? Uh, so after him killed Freeman, or what? What, what happened after that? I, the, he came. We came back to New York. Mm. He came. I came back to New York. Yeah, well, the cause of New York, we really live. You know. Yeah, yeah man. When I came back to but New York, I so believe. I, I want to believe. So when him did down there, them did down there. Faith go look. Drugs. Mm. So what? So after them? So after them kill free man and them thing that. So you don't know mm -hmm. any because it's a free man um wife and your mother it close. So you don't know um so we, so so you don't have find out about him funeral and them thing that. Yeah man. Yeah, uh, we tell us that the family was close enough. So your mother. So your so your so your, so your mother knew it was your baby father that killed him. Yeah. So you mother I ate them. Yeah, you know, your mother ate them from that, from then. Oh yeah, my mother ate them after that. So the police never knew that it was him. I don't. I I don't know. Oh okay. So the police never talk to you about anything about it. Nobody's nobody's gonna talk to anybody or could or maybe they knew but they couldn't catch him. Oh uh, well, you as know. usual in a Jamaican community, nobody now got inform. Yeah, they they. Yep. So so what so three months so them take back three months body at Jamaica and bury my Jamaica. I did Jamaica, you know. I mean I remember if I a Jamaica three months bury her up here. Mm. So I'm team wife then? I I don't know. I try so hard to get in touch with her. I don't know. I don't even know where that woman is that called she never had any children. Mm. Cause him used to that man him used to do that woman the bad for you see. He used to beat her. Jesus of mercy, he used to do her bad car like she couldn't conceive. Mm. Yeah, man, he used to do her really bad. And was a pretty woman, you know. Mm. So, okay, so when, you and, so, when, so when you and Juno went back now to New York, what, what happened after that now? You get pregnant? Yeah, me always, you know, said like, me always pregnant, though. Uh -huh. You know, them time, the yeah, man, me always pregnant because, like, I have one baby, 79, one born 79, one born 80, and one born 81. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and the, the one where we born 80 is the one that the, 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 the in question that we were talking about. Oh, the jacket. That's the, the jacket. The jacket. Yeah, him end up in a jail because I saw, me, I saw that sick of my son now. Because when, when he was like, I believe like 12, 13, mm -hmm. I, I decided to tell him, you know? Yeah, you shouldn't tell him not anything then. Because that's what affect yeah, him mentally. That's what, that's what, I, that's what messed him up. Mm -hmm. And so my, my mom was telling me no, but I felt guilty. And I was saying, you know, I, I prefer to tell him other than somebody else tell him. Well, sometimes, sometimes there's some secret, just be, you know, just keep it, you know, because them things yeah. destroy kids, you know, you understand? I wish I did. I, mm -hmm. can, I can tell you that much. I wish I did, man. Like, he's about to be sentenced and it's wrenching my heart. Okay, all right. So you have the second. So you have a second child now for for junior school. So what 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 were you doing for yourself? I wasn't doing anything. I didn't have to do anything. My man, they they that, that support me. I, that's what me tell the I used to just love money, and that did mess me up. At so and, so I never junior. I never junior alone. You know, you you, you not give it up. Oh yeah. Oh. I never had two men at the, at at one the same time. time. Yeah. No, I never did that. Mm. 
But they always have to, because even when we run away from Junior and work with Butter, I used to get money like every day, because I remember these men are drug, de- drug dealers. Yeah, and part of the show up, I see. And yes, yeah, so I used to get money, I used to get money every day. So like how much money you used to get to every day from him? Me can't even tell you, you know, I used to get money, enough money. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I didn't, I didn't use a run in a new... So, uh, what to this boy? What to this guy? Where come from? Um, the gully man passed when he um, what him name? He come from out of east. Chin, the one in him chin. Chin. You want? You want to use it up a Brooklyn or back bush or anything there? Uh uh. Me not really stray, no, you know. Oh okay. Me not really stray like. If them not come from West Kingston, really, or if them never did run, we come down there on a Tivoli. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to know them because I'm not really stray. You know? Yeah. And people we, people we even say them know me, but they only know my name. They don't know me. Mm. So, 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 uh, so, uh, so, so, uh, no, after you have the kid them for Junior. Okay, so. After, after I had, um, after I had Jabal, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah, after I had him, I had, um, another baby. Mm-hmm. And then that baby is when, after that baby, born, then Junior passed away. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I had that baby days old, and him friend, <laughs> him and him friend leave, and I was supposed to die also, cause two them know me did rowdy, you know. Mm, them know what we kill it, huh? Yeah. Well, oh, because because two you there with Junior. Yeah. Mm. So when them kill Junior, so so uh, which year them kill Junior? Ah, uh, eighty-two. Yeah, I think 82, 82, about 82, November 82, I believe. Mm. So, what, from, what, what, so what was what was Junior's um, correct name? Aston Gordon. Uh, so, we, we're in Berry, Jamaica or up here? Jamaica. So, so, you went back to Jamaica too? No, I couldn't. My mother wouldn't allow me to. Mm. So, I do you have three kids, you have four kids, so I'm then. Yeah, she wouldn't allow me to. So you mother, they still have control. Okay, she have that amount of control over you. So you really? Oh, been... my mom, my mom had control over me until I was fifty years old. Oh, that I want to pass with. No, she passed after that. But up until I was fifty, that's when I took my independence from my mother. Mhm. Mhm. So what? So so so. So, so when Junior, when Junior died, how, how many kids, how many children, other children him have? How many others? Um, let me see. Desiree, Duane, Ricky, Desiree, Duane, Ricky. I want to believe he, three others. Oh, okay. But you, you were like his wife? Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. so, so what after after Ju, after Junior school after them killed Junior school. Well, after they killed them, I I I almost went crazy, mm. and so my mom tricked me and told me to that I was coming to Jamaica for one Christmas, mm-hmm. and so when I went, she just destroyed my documents. And said I wasn't going back. So I'm um, to the kids them. So you leave the kids them in America. My mom, uh, my mom always have my children. Oh, so I never. So I don't know. I don't the kids them. Oh, they, they, uh, uh, they were living uptown. They, yeah. Hmm. Yep. So what? So yeah, what so happened? So what happened down there? After, after I went to Jamaica. And my mom, she said I was a coming back. So I was there, and that is how I met this man oh, the, 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 that passed away. What What is his name? And where is from? His name, the, his name is Keith Stephenson. Okay, what do you call him on the street? Gussie. 
Go see them call them? Yeah. So where you come from? Tiffany too? No. Where? Yeah. I met him. He come from, uh, he come from up White Hallway. Mm -hmm. That's where I met him. I don't, that's not where he's originally from. Where is original? Where is original? I believe he's originally from Dunkirk. I believe him. It says somewhere out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they lived they, from Olaba to there to must be um, Whitehall Avenue. Well, not Whitehall. So you never knew him. So you never knew him mother and father and them thing there. Oh yeah, I was with him for thirty years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were together for thirty years. So, how many kids you have? Um, four. Three. So you have another kid after you and him part? No. Can you say you have eight kids? Yeah, one passed away. One of your kids passed away? Yeah, the last baby I had for Junior. Mm, that's a, oh, that's not the jacket? No. So, what what happened to that one? He passed away. He passed away as a baby. They, they claimed that him father played him. They know he had a seizure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my condolences. That's supposed three to Three days. He, he passed away three. He was three years old. Like, he turned three today and passed away tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And people say Julia killed him? That Junior play with him. So, them said Oh, passed. okay, okay. Oh, oh them obviously, I, I don't pick him on them thing then. Yeah, because he had a seizure. Mm -hmm. And what they, the doctor said, idiotic. And I've never heard of that. Yeah. Oh, so you mean, you mean a foam tree mouth and them thing there? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's how them now at the same time, baby, yeah, in a Jamaica and them thing there, when them said Duffy play with baby and... Yeah. yeah. And it was so, his son? Yeah. Mm. But I, he wasn't even with me at the time and I was in Jamaica, pregnant. <laughs> mm. Would you know, so that, that baby born in Jamaica? Mm-mm. Oh. Sorry, I'm just drinking a little water. Yeah, well, that's yeah the, the um, I was in Jamaica, pregnant with my ex-husband. First, the first child I have for him. That's a that's a um, Keith. Yeah. Go go see. Yeah. So oh, you mean so when when so you were in Jamaica and your mother take away your travel documents them. So what well, you didn't have legitimate papers or. No. You have your papers then for can't travel back then? Yeah. Okay, so you meet so you meet go see the in Jamaica. Yeah. Uh, uh which which year which year which year was that? Lord of mercy. Uh, Juna, sure Juna was no. Juna Juna got eight, 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 mm. I met I met him Lord Jesus, me and my son did check it, you know. I met him what, eighty 83? Mm hmm. 83? Oh, Jesus. I don't remember. Mm. I know, say, me and my son, the one who they had jail me and him check it out of some of me, they end up knowing how long I was with him. Mm. Okay, alright. So, so you meet him at Jamaica now and them things. So, you and him get married down there? Um, not right away. After, after that, me and my mother, because me and my mother couldn't. Me and I could agree because, you know, she still wanted a child. And so she used to, she used to do my bad, beat me up every minute. And so she had a friend mm -hmm. that she used to cause. It, it, my mom, she never really used to do stuff and so on. Mm -hmm. But she had the friends, if you, you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So this woman used to come around her that used to help people to come to America. Mm -hmm. And the woman got upset about how my mom was treating me and so she 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 brought me back. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. And when when she brought me back I was pregnant again. Oh and this time of <laughs> this time of a kid. Yeah, that was his second child. For Keith or the first, this is the first child for Keith, would you? Se no, that was the second child for Keith at that time. So the first child we have for Keith, where was that child born? Jamaica up here? Jamaica. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
because even when my baby passed away, my mom is the one. My mom came up and buried him and everything because she's buried in Miami. Mm-hmm. And you know, I've never, I've never gone there. So I know I don't even know where because my mom, she buried my son uh, that I could go see him anytime, you know. But what, I never what, did. What, what, so wait, so the child, it, it, that, that child died in Jamaica. Your mother buried me in New Miami. No, he died here. That's uh, that's my the, the baby I told you that when Junior did, we just have that baby there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's up here. Okay, so Junior Junior died eighty one, and how old was the baby? And and what? E- the, e- eighty two. And how long after that the baby the baby um the baby the he, um baby died. He was three, so, yeah, but so I wasn't there. Where were you when the baby died? I was already in Jamaica. But I thought that's I thought that's when you went back to Jamaica. All your children, them, uh, your mother, your, all your, as you say, your mom, uh, all your have all your kids, them uptown. Yeah. Okay. So after after the, the the I was I went to Miami, right, and I was going back to New York. When I was going back to New York, my mom took my first, at that time, my first child was here. So my mom, that was after Junior passed away. So my mom left my baby, two of my sons, right? Mm-hmm. She left him with two of her friends, and then she brought the others to Jamaica with her. Mm-hmm. So, while I was in Jamaica, then Robert passed away. When you were in Jamaica, your husband passed away? No, the baby. Oh, okay. That was, oh, that your son. Yeah. All right, so 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 we so so when you return back to Jamaica now, because your mother treat you bad and one of her friend help you and bring you back in America. Mm-hmm. Uh, I met that time I already met Gussie. Yeah. And because I met Gussie, he is uh, I met him with him live with his mother and his father. His mother had a business in Olava. Mm-hmm. And he used to work within the business. She had a furniture store, I believe. Mm-hmm. And he used to work within the business. So I met him. And, you know, I said, yeah, you know, because at that time now, I said that was it, you mm-hmm. know, for the lifestyle I was living. Mm-hmm. So after I met him, I said, yeah, you know, this seems to be a fairly decent guy. So... I started saying that I changed my life, mm-hmm. my lifestyle. Yeah. However, it wasn't. You know, it was the same type of person. So you, yeah. so you, so you never know so, that he was the same kind of person as um. No, 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 no. When after I came back, mm-hmm. then. He came, and when he came, I was I was here for a while already. Oh Jesus, I won't can't remember the things that know me. I was here for a while already. I was doing living work. He had a friend that was in the show up posse by the name of Philip. Mm-hmm. So, so Philip, go see go see go see a friend in the show up posse too. Yeah, they went to school together. Mm-hmm. So the, the 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 guy came here long before Gussie, you know. So he he had gotten involved with them in because he was based in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. So he had gotten involved with them or whatever. So he was going back and forth to Jamaica. You know, so the plan was for Gussie to come where they are. Mm-hmm. But when Gussie reached America, I decided that that wasn't going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, so I had, at that time, I remember I had an, um, them time I love brass headboard. Mm-hmm. And I had the, 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 
Ed board and uh, the foot of the bed and I was buying some little things. I had started, you know, buying stuff. Anyway, Gussie came and I said, no, I'm not, you're not going to go in any trap house. You're not going to get involved. So I got a little room and I put, I have him in that room and I was, I still do my living. So I work and work and work and took him out of there and I, I rented a one bedroom mm -hmm. in, this is in the Bronx, right? Mm hmm I went to the I rented a one bedroom across from the Vanda High School, and I had him there. And while I I had him there, I was at work, and it dawned on me, uh, uh, what's your name? That you know, if your mom passed, no, you don't know to be a mother. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm telling you that this came to me like just so plain and I told my 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 client I'll be right back and I went outside them time the cell phone and I went to a phone box and I called my mother and I said well you know mom it, it just came to me that you know what if anything I don't know how to be a mother and I I need you to send them children and my mom was upset so she said, well, it's your, it's your children. If you want them, what can I do? And my mom sent them, sent my children. So I had them there. I lived, we had the living room and I gave my children the bedroom. And I worked and I saved and I moved my family from there. And I rented a two bedroom at 226 and Laconia Avenue, right? After, when I rented, by the time I rented that place, I was pregnant again. Mm -hmm. So, I used my taxes for that year, which year it was, I don't ever remember now, but I could, that, that's, that, that's, um, say, 30 tomorrow that will be 32 years ago right i rented that two bedroom and i moved my family there i was still working you know I was after doing... i move after i moved to 226 then i had to stop work right mm -hmm. by this time i saw a little money coming in and so I talked to Gussie about it I asked him one thing and he said that um he has this that time this man he had a friend that had a restaurant so he said they are buying um cars they're buying like crash cars cars mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Mercedes resell or whatever you know and i talked to my mom about it and we, we talked about it and mom was like you know something something doesn't look right anyway i didn't stop until i found out that he was hustling mm -hmm. by this time now i'm telling you that i there I, four children right mm -hmm. Fari, jabal Andrew and Sean, right? Mm -hmm. I had these four children and I was pregnant again. So I was trapped. I... My mom spoke to him and he said no, but my mom tell him, you know, just leave my child out of it because if you met my, met, met my daughter, God prison me, I'll kill you. Mm -hmm. So, I was just there. I never, he never got me involved. That is one thing that I could give to him, mm -hmm. you know. He never got me involved, but I was there. I led a very paranoid life. Mm -hmm. 
where it had end up almost destroyed me. I didn't like, I didn't have anyone to turn to. Because mm -hmm. as I tell you, I was paranoid. So I push away everybody from me, mm -hmm. you know, so I didn't have any friends. I didn't cause. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we lived in the Bronx at that time, right? And I end up, I said, you know, I want to, you know, I want to leave. You know, I don't want to be with him anymore. So I, I don't, I believe he, he had said something about Georgia. So we went to Georgia, you know, and to look for a place for me and the children. Mm -hmm. We looked in two houses. And then there was a third one where the money sounded too much for me by myself. Mm -hmm. So I said, no, I, I, I don't want that. Anyway, we ended up going because he always convinced the children. So we end up going, we went and we look at the house and it was beautiful, you know, so all the children fall in love, fell in love with it. He went behind my back and he asked his friend for his wife to put that house in her name. Mm -hmm. You know, I have the children, the children wants it, what can I do? I'm trapped again, same way. I moved to Georgia, you know, he would visit, he would visit us. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew, I realized that there was infidelity, mm -hmm. but I did not have any facts, any proof, if you yes. know what I mean, any proof. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, I cannot leave my marriage and because i respected my marriage you know mm -hmm. and i was like i can't leave my marriage and assumption you know i want the facts but nobody's telling me anything guys okay so he, so he's the one that provide that give your people to live in america huh Who, who's the one that so because he's the one that provide people that give your people to live here no i gave him okay yeah i gave him mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, you know, I couldn't I couldn't get any facts. Nobody would tell me anything. Mm -hmm. I had people that knew that I spoke to because I would, there was even this one woman that I would speak to that she knew because mm -hmm. he's the one that told me that she not your friend because she see me with woman and don't tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after everything, you know, came out. Anyway, I was there. I tell you, I I lived at that time. I looked. I looked like a zombie. Mm -hmm. I was hiding. I was scared of the, 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 the police and also robbers mm -hmm. because there was a set of guys that trailed us from New York. Because tell you know by this time you know me and you know, said this man is a big time drug dealer you know. Mm -hmm. Cause me and you know nothing we really are going. Me just a deal with my children you know. Mm -hmm. So one evening I was going home because I I opened a salon in georgia mm -hmm. and i was going one one evening and i and i picked up a trail so i had an officer a, a retired detective live because when i called gussie's friend to tell him that there is somebody trailing me because i at that time i wasn't talking to him him tell him friend to tell me to call the police mm -hmm. That time, him have him drugs money hidden in the house. Okay, so there was a um, a retired detective 
that lived next door, like two houses away from me. And I went and I told him, and he told me what to do. And I don't know if the, they had arrested the guy or what. Mm -hmm. You know, because I end up left leaving Georgia. Okay. But anyway, before that, how I get to break away, I went one day down Stone Mountain because I live in Loganville. And I went down Stone Mountain and um, I heard someone called out my name. Mm -hmm. And the woman come, she came down and she said, Masters, you know, long may I look for you. You know, long may I try to get to you. You know, no say and with your husband. I'm here, they might chat you and I laugh after you. I said, yeah. I said, okay, thank you. By this time, he was at the house. That's a, that's a thing, that's a my sister. Yes. No. My, no, it, she's not my sister. Oh, no. Okay. You mean when the devil, no, this is a different girl. Mm -hmm. My sister was one of them way, yeah. But this was a different girl she was telling me about. Mm -hmm. So, he was at the and he was at the house because mm -hmm. I I I'd left him there because because he was there I drove out mm -hmm. and went to go check my virgins. So when the woman told me I went back home and I said to him I said you know I hear about you and your woman hand and you know it's over and I went back in my car drove back to Stone Mount, Mount, Mountain and I until I drove until I found a tattoo parlor. I put the, the the I put a butterfly in my foot and the date and that day. And I never looked back. He could not come in the house. I took all the money and I start squandering. I remember the first thing I did was I gave a so uh, uh, um a pastor some money and then I just started and I was flying back and forth to Jamaica and just giving money away because I did not want that money to do anything you know I just wanted to get rid of it yep so 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 what happened after that? Well, after that, I was like on the run because uh, it was put out of my life. Again, he put the he put the it on me. Mm -hmm. So I was just going back and forth to Jamaica, back and forth to Jamaica. And this was what, 2006 or 2007? So I was just going back and forth to Jamaica, back and forth. I would stay. And at one time, I remember I stayed in Jamaica for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, because, and I was just down there in West Kingston. Oh, okay. You know, and. I would come home and I send the stress would take me and I would just catch a flight again. Mm -hmm. You know? Because I didn't have anyone. I didn't have anyone to talk to. I didn't have anyone to turn to. Mm -hmm. You know, because the life I had to lead. And what hurt most of all is that I said that I'm changing my lifestyle, you know? Mm -hmm. And just and ended up with the worst. I'm, and I can tell you, it's the worst. The only thing that cushions that blow is my ch three children. Mm -hmm. But it was a very hard one. You know. Uh, all right. Hey, look. We, we talk over the we talk over the weekend. All right, my sister. Okay. So we, you know, and we, and and you'll hear from me because so you know this is the confession confession of a shower pussy bride, the shocking truth.
you know, tell the story of a woman who married within the shop, I say. And, you know, we have shared it with you guys. So, in conclusion, absolutely sharing her, her life story, including the challenges and consequences of being involved with criminal elements, can serve as a powerful cautionary tale for others, especially young women. We know that the young women, the Jamaica boy, them, you know, we just live in a different era. You know, it is culture. Culture, culture is everything. So as you know, um, you know, it's just the next generation we have to focus on because um, some, some, some people from my generation lost, and the ones them who produce the children them after our generation them worse us them worse. You understand? So by opening and discussing, discussing the realities of such relationships and lifestyles, she can help others to understand the risk and consequences involved. Her experiences can potentially encourage young women to prioritize their safety, well-being and prospects over fleeting moments of excitement or connection with individuals involved in criminal activities. Individuals must recognize that the consequences of such associations can be serious, severe and long-lasting, affecting not only their own lives but also the lives of their loved ones. Because as you, you, you understand you now, you know, you know them have a little thing now where in a Jamaica that never used to happen, you, know, you can't catch court because you catch him shot. And I see him think that they're, they practice e, um, overseas. I know everything is all about ego. Boy, you hurt my feelings, so I have to hurt yours. But I kill somebody for you, for hurt you more. As if killing a person is a joke thing, because life is very precious, you know. If you respect your life, you have to respect the other person's life. If you love yourself, you will see yourself in our next person and love them. You understand? So that's why we treat people the way that we have, you know. We don't, we have never behave as if we are superior to anyone. Yes, even when we were a seen a seen a seen a um, detective we never treat a young police and you know tell you know embarrass them and uh yeah 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 you know embarrass them and try to make them feel as if we are superior to them because of our experience no we don't do that so that's why young police officers always gravitate to us because how you treat people so we just hope that what she has said you know she can inspire others to make positive choices and avoid similar pitfalls by sharing our story. It's never too late to change course and pursue a better, safer path in life. And our story can serve as a beacon of hope and resilience for those who may find themselves in situ similar situation. You know, dating men who involved in criminality is not the right way, you understand. Life goes on. And the most important thing is be true to yourself. Live an ex exemplary life so that others can emulate you. Don't watch the crowd or the noise in the market. Just do the right thing at all times. It's not who is right, but what is right. And if everyone loves you, something is wrong with you. Always remember that. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.